Hi everyone, it's Mary from Studio Us, bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a lovely beach landscape and we're going to be coloring with markers. So I have my drawing paper ready to go. As always, I have a pencil, a pearl eraser, and a Sharpie. I went ahead and I marked my center lines as a guide and I went ahead and I drew our first shape. I'll walk you through it. So to start, we have this sort of rounded rectangle shape. The corners are a little rounded because this is going to be the body of our van that's in front of our beach. So go ahead and mark how far out that van is going to go. Mark those edges. And again, mark the top and bottom as well. I gave myself some dotted lines to make sure that that shape was correct before I actually went ahead and drew it in. But pay attention to the shape of that van and its placement in relationship to the size of our paper and those center points as well. Go ahead, draw that in. Up next, we're going to draw two uh, sort of ellipse shapes or, or skinny oval shapes that are gonna go on the top of our van. These are going to end up being surfboards because it's a day at the beach. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to be at the beach right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark how far out that first surfboard's going to go going to cover most of the top of that van and it's pretty skinny right so I'm going to move this paper a little closer to me and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a skinny line this way the sides are a little curved and then again down here that bottom line is basically the top of the van you don't really need to go over it again um, as always clean up things as you go along if you need to and then we'll go ahead for our next step draw a slightly smaller surfboard on top. It looks like this one's gonna start right about here and go to about here. Again, a skinny sort of oval, like a pancake shape. Perfect, let's keep going. Up next, we're going to draw our two uh, circles here that are going to be the wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark where those wheels start looks like it's going to be right about here about that wide and then again right about here perfect and I'm gonna give myself some dots first to make sure I get a nice round shape drawing circles is pretty tricky that looks good to me and then one more over here very good gonna go ahead and draw that in And don't forget, we have some details on the front and back of our van as well. We have a nice bumper right about here. This is basically just a sort of rounded oval shape or egg shape, just like that. Perfect. And then a headlight right here. It's gonna be more of a straight line and then it's going to come outward. It's gonna be rounded over here. Perfect, just like that. I'm actually going to make this bumper just a little smaller. Perfect. And then we have a back bumper over here. Again, coming out to about here, rounding out over here. Perfect, let's keep going. Our next step, we're going to erase the inside of our bumper, our light and our wheels. Uh, so go ahead, take your pearl eraser, get rid of those. We have a line right here that's going to curve and it's going to come straight across the van like this. It's going to sort of bisect that shape and it's going to slightly curve back down. Go ahead, draw that line, make sure it's nice and straight before it curves towards the ends. Clean up any lines you need to. Very good. And we have our nice windshield right here. Looks like it's gonna start right about here and it's gonna come out maybe that far before coming back in. Just a nice curved line like that. Perfect. Up next, we have three um, vertical lines that are going to uh, divide up our van to help us place the windows. We also have one horizontal line that's going to start right here at the top of our windshield and come to about here. So I'm gonna go nice and slow. I wanna make sure I get a nice straight line. Perfect. 
It's a little tricky to get straight lines correct. And we have a line here that's going to come down to about here. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. Perfect. We have a line here that's going to come down to about here. It's just a little further away than the wheel or to the side of the wheel. Perfect. And we have one more line that's going to hit this wheel and come up to the same height. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. Perfect. All right, for our next step, we're going to draw in our windows now. So these windows are rectangles with rounded corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw that line across the top for the top of my window. I'm gonna make that rounded corner. Come down, rounded corner, come down and then straight across again, leaving a little bit of room around those lines on our van. Perfect, we have another window in here. Again, a rectangle with some rounded corners. Gonna give myself some dotted lines first. Finally, one more window. This one's a little bit smaller. It's going to come over. And then it'll be a slanted line this way. So this top line will be a little bit shorter than this one. Just like that. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to add two circles inside of our wheels. These will be the actual like wheel hubcap. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw a slightly bigger circle or a, a circle that's slightly smaller than our wheel but a little bit bigger than our next one. So make sure it's the same width all the way around. Go ahead and draw that in. We want both uh, wheels to look the same. And then again, one more. Perfect. And then finally, we'll put two smaller circles inside. So go ahead, draw a smaller circle for the center of our wheel. I'm actually gonna make that a little bigger. Excellent. All right, very good. All right, so up next, we are going to add two little curvy triangles to the back of our surfboards. These are going to help surfboards actually move. It's gonna look almost like a shark fin. So I'm gonna go up to a curvy point and it's going to point slightly to the left. So go ahead, go up and then back down. Again, same thing, gonna go up just slightly, curve and come back down. Just a little shape. Don't forget, we also have two little lines that are gonna go like this. You're gonna make them touch the top of that surfboard and cross over each other. It's like these surfboards are tied to the top of our van. Same thing over here. Up next, we're gonna add some details to our van. So we have a line here. We have a longer line here that's going to curve and come around by our wheel. Perfect. We have this handle here. We have a handle here and a curvy line that goes around it. We have two lines over here by our wheel. And then finally, five lines back here that are just sort of accents and they get slightly smaller as they go up. So pay attention to that, perfect. Up next, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to draw in our ground. Our van has to be driving on something. So I'm going to give us a straight line. It's gonna go all the way across. And it's going to go behind your wheels. So don't draw them over them. But we wanna make sure that this line is straight all the way across. So pretend that it's, it's an invisible line going through your wheels. So it'll help you maintain that straight line all the way over. making it a little sketchy just so I can get that, that line correct. And once I know that it is, 
I can go ahead and make it a little darker. Perfect, that line looks pretty straight to me. All right, let's keep going. We have a little tree over here. This is the trunk of our tree. I'm gonna mark where the top of that palm tree is. It's right about here. It's a slightly curved line. And it's gonna come down to about here and here. It's not super duper wide, but it is going to curve slightly before it comes down to that line. And then again, down to that line. Up next, we're going to add our coconuts to the tree. There are three small circles, so I'm going to draw one small circle. It's gonna overlap that tree just a little bit. One, one right above it, two, and three. These coconuts are all about the same size. And then we're going to add some waves. Now these waves are all in a straight line. The water is in a straight line. But before I put the waves in, I'm going to mark where those waves are with a, a light straight line. Again, it's gonna go behind the van. So I wanna make sure that that line is straight all the way across. It would be so silly if we started the water right here and then it went clear up here. That wouldn't make any sense. So once I have that straight line, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put waves right on top of it, just like this. And they're just gonna curve up to a point, up and down, just like that. And I'm gonna follow that little line that I made just to make sure that my waves are straight all the way across. And then once I finish putting those waves in, I can go ahead and erase that straight line that I made. I don't need that anymore. I just used it as a guide. Perfect. Up next, we're gonna start adding leaves to our palm tree and we're gonna draw some lines down the tree trunk. These are just slightly curved lines that go all the way down our tree trunk just to add some detail. Perfect. And then finally, we can go ahead and add our leaves. Now these leaves are gonna come down like this with a curved line. And then we're going to go ahead and draw in the little points of the leaves that go like this. So I came down and up like a little triangle or a little mountain, down and up, and then down to that point, just like that. Perfect. Clean up any lines you need to. I'm actually gonna clean up those little points really quick. Perfect, we have a little uh, leaf over here as well. I'm gonna draw that first line like this. It's gonna curve slightly. And then again, down to a point, down into a point, and then down to that. Excellent. Same thing, two more leaves. It's gonna go over like this. And again, it's gonna go in and then down to a point, down to a point, down to a point, and one. It goes in like this. Very good. One more over here. This leaf is gonna start right about here and it's gonna come off of the page. So it's gonna go over and back down slightly before it comes in to a point and one more point and then hits that leaf there. Perfect. All right, a few more. We have one over here. Again, going to go off the page. Comes in to a point and to a point like this. Perfect. Again, another one. This one's going to go up and over to the edge of our page and then down to a point, to a point, and to a point before it comes back into the tree. Perfect. Another one over here. Again, up and over, in, and then to a point, 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 very good. We're almost there. 
two more tiny leaves. This one's going to come up and there's just one point before it comes back down to the tree. And one more, this one's going to come up into a point and to one more point before coming back down. Perfect. So before we can start coloring with markers, we are going to take our Sharpie and we are going to go over all of the lines that we've drawn. Go nice and slow, get very clean, crisp lines. And once you finish going over everything with Sharpie, take your pearl eraser and erase away all of the pencil lines you have left. Then we'll add some color. All right, now that we've finished drawing our picture, going over with Sharpie and eraser, we're ready to start coloring. So our background is a nice, beautiful blue sky. So I'm going to use a light blue for that. And I'm going to slowly color in everything above our water. Keep in mind too, we wanna to fill in the inside of the windows because those see through to our background as well. Go nice and slow and fill in that background. All right, once you've got that background filled in, we're gonna go ahead and color in our water. Our water has three different shades to it. We have a nice highlight, a really lovely, beautiful blue uh, that's sort of the majority of the water, and then a shadow. I'm gonna use a nice minty color for the highlight just because I'm, I lack a wide range of blues with my markers. So this will turn out really, really nicely. These highlights are just right to the side of our waves. Not much to them, just a little bit in here. Perfect, we're gonna use this mint later for our van as well. Next, I'm going to fill in the rest of my water with a slightly darker blue than our sky, but still a lightish blue that's going to get us a really beautiful watercolor. I'm gonna fill in the rest of my water and then go over it with our shadows. Very good. And now I can go ahead and take my darker blue and I'm just going to put a nice dark blue line right at the bottom of our water to indicate a nice shadow. All right, very good. That water looks gorgeous. Now we can go ahead and we can color in our sand. So our sand here is a nice tan color, but there is a slightly darker shadow that's underneath our van, right? Our van's casting a shadow on the ground below it. So I'm going to take a light beige color. I'm gonna color in all of my sand, and then I'm going to take a slightly darker brown, and I'm going to fill in that shadow on top. All right, excellent. Now we can finally go ahead and start coloring in the tree. I'm gonna take that same beige color that I used for the sand and I'm gonna use it for a highlight on the left side of our palm tree. Just gonna draw a nice light line there. Next, I'm going to take that same light brown that we used for the shadow on our sand and I'm gonna fill in the rest of our palm tree. We can go ahead and put a shadow, a darker brown shadow on top of it. And then a darker brown for a shadow that's going to be on the right side of our tree. I'm actually gonna get a darker brown so it can show up better. Perfect, it's gonna go on the right side of our tree and right underneath the little lines on our palm tree. Get those nice values in there. It's gonna really add some depth to our picture. Perfect. Next, let's go ahead and fill in those coconuts. Those are pretty light. So I'm going to take a nice tan color, very light peachy tan color. And I'm gonna use that for the highlight on the left uh, of our coconuts. 
I'll go ahead and I will take a nice uh, light brown. I'm actually gonna use that same beige as our sand and fill in the rest of our coconuts. Careful not to go over those highlights. And then I can go ahead and take a darker brown and put a nice little shadow just right on the side, the right side of our coconuts. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this bright neon green for the highlights on our trees. These highlights look to be on the top of each of our leaves, just a little line. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these in. I love this color here, so I'm really excited to use it. Perfect, now we can go ahead and take a regular green and fill in the rest of the leaves. We'll put the shadow on top. Be careful not to go over your highlight. Excellent. And finally, I'm going to use a nice teal for the shadows on our trees. Now these shadows are towards the bottom of the leaves and towards the coconuts, right where it's really dense. Go ahead, just add a little bit of a shadow there. All right, and that palm tree is finished. Finally, let's go ahead and color in our van. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pick out a nice light beigey color that is going to be this center part of our van, right? Just a very, very light uh, sort of tint for that section. Go ahead and use that same color for a little bit of the highlight on our on the mint part of our van and on this uh, sort of inner circle where we see that white sort of hubcap. So I see a little bit of a highlight here. And then I'm gonna put just a little touch of this on the inside of this hubcap. Most of it's white, I just want a little bit of value. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take a nice minty color and I am going to color in all of the mint parts of my van. Very good. I am going to take a teal color and I'm going to use this for some shadows on our van, on the mint parts. I see a shadow right along the bottom here. There's this really lovely pink surfboard on the very top of our van and I'm going to use a nice uh, bright pink for that highlight on the very outer part of that surfboard. I can take a slightly darker pink now and fill in the rest. Very nice. We have a nice uh, light purple for this little triangle up here. Just gonna fill that in. And take a darker purple for a little shadow on it. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take a yellow and I'm going to color in this surfboard and use a light orange for that shadow. I'm gonna use a nice uh, light green, just like the one I used for the highlights on our palm tree, for the little triangle on top of the yellow surfboard. And then finally, a regular green for a little bit of a shadow. And I'm going to use that same yellow and same orange for the light on our van gonna add some nice color there. Now the color is mostly yellow and a light yellow, but I can't really vary that up with the marker, so I'm gonna use some orange for a shadow there. Perfect. 
And finally, I can go ahead and do the bumpers and the wheels. Go ahead and color in our bumpers with a nice gray. The center, the smallest circle of our wheels is also going to be gray, but there are some highlights there. I don't really have the light gray to do highlights with, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use a nice light purple for the highlight on the gray part of my wheel, just for some fun color. Go ahead and fill in the rest of that uh, center part of our wheel. Perfect. And then finally, I'm going to take my Sharpie or a black marker if you have one, and I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow on that center part of the wheel. And then I'm going to fill in the outer part of my tires. All right, and that's our picture. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to check in with Studio Us again later for some more projects that you can do at home.